They're trying to shame the human race by letting a nut cough in their face. Our video of the day comes to us from the World Economic Forum, or WEF, where leaders took a break from caviar and hookers to discuss climate change and how it will affect supplies of caviar and hookers. <laughs> An Amazonian tribal chief closed the session in interesting fashion. Roll it, Ricky. <clears throat> Why should I? Remember, after a stranger in a headdress kisses you and rubs spit on your face, put on your mask. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing we didn't just experience a global pandemic. Otherwise, that kind of behavior would be irresponsible. <laughs> but I haven't seen a performance this compelling since I watched Jesse Waters try to open a revolving door. <laughs> Shortly after the indigenous chief finished her plea to heal the planet, she did what every climate change activist did hopped in a private jet, which pulverized several flocks of endangered geese. <laughs> you know what, Tyrus? Do you think this was all a prank? She was just seeing how far she could go to no. do, she could have done worse things. No, that would be good. Yeah. They took this poor woman, flew her out here, mm -hmm. probably without pay. <laughs> and so she's gonna come to this great thing and talk about the needs of the Amazon. Just, we need you to do a little ceremony for us. Then she did the ceremony, and this is the part where she like wanted to speak mm -hmm. and tell people why she was there. They're like, no, we're good. <laughs> and all that we really got from that, apparently the safe word for everybody that weekend was Shh. Yeah. So, <laughs> Shh. oh, stop. So again, they just do this crap. Yeah. To try, and they all sit up there, oh, look what I did. Look what I did. I took the breath from a, a, a Native American from Amazon. Like. And then I'll guarantee you 15 of them tried to order her from Amazon yeah. that night. <laughs> Check yeah. their search history, FBI. Yeah, it's like uh, all of those guys that came there for the cocaine and the orgies were like, this isn't the blow I had in mind. <laughs> Here's, is this the answer to the climate crisis? <laughs> here's, a, here's a question for everybody. Does anybody know what she actually said? No. Right. So we just know her now forever as the coughing lady. Yeah. Who may have been, for all we know, spreading Ebola and committing mass murder. Right? <laughs> Nobody has any idea in the world what she was there for or what message she was actually imparting to the world. So like a lot of these things, it may have seemed a good idea at the time. It's completely and utterly pointless. Mm -hmm. It is pointless and has made a mockery of this poor woman where presumably back in the Amazon rainforest, that kind of thing is a tribal ritual thing. Nobody would laugh at it. It would be taken very yes. seriously. Instead, she's on comedy shows from here to London to Sydney. And I think that on every level is ridiculous. They, we should send one of our gender studies majors to the <laughs> Amazon to return the favor. Jim, do you think that was Ruth Buzzy? I mean, it looked like a scene. <laughs> it looked like something from Gilligan's Island. I mean, yeah, <laughs> exactly. It, uh, she sounds like my wife <laughs> out the passenger window when we're at the drive-in. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, uh, it, it's silly, and it's fun watching all these people who are uncomfortable with it mm. pretend that they're not. Yeah. Um, nobody likes that. Nobody wants their head held and, you know, and the, red, the red stuff. I mean, I, I, that awful. I've seen that in the mirror after a few days. And I you, mean... know, you, know, you know they're all COVID mask warriors, all of them. Aren't <laughs> yes, they? exactly. They're the kind of people that would berate yeah. you for not wearing a mask, and there they all are, literally being exploded on or... by some stranger. Maybe this is Greta Stromberg's replacement. Mm. <laughs> She's getting older. No one's buying anymore. What do you got? Yeah. I Our saw this woman in the Amazon. <laughs> fits off yeah. Get her, Carrie. Already got her. Yeah, you know, so it, I just, it just occurred to me that I, I wonder if Jeff Bezos is there. And the Amazon lady could have done that to the Amazon owner. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> she's like the ultimate girl boss. Are you yeah, kidding? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's like a religious leader. I, I get it. I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> What's she saying? I, I, well, it doesn't matter, Piers, <laughs> because every 
every single person on that stage is there because they're a very, a very powerful person, right? Mm -hmm. And you're way more powerful than a powerful person if you can walk up to a powerful person and go <laughs> <laughs> in their face. <laughs> Not only do they allow her to do it, but they sit there like, yes, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. She's the most powerful person at the whole forum. Yeah. It is funny because those people <laughs> go there for ego inflation. You know, they go there because they're rich, but they can't flaunt their richness. So they use it. This is a vehicle to advertise their virtue. And but it still allows them to proclaim their wealth and status, and then this lady comes in and spits in their face. I wonder if that's even part of it, or if she just improv that at yeah, the end of exactly. it. exactly. Like she was having a great set, and she- It like, would be great if she'd gone off script. Yeah. Like, but nobody was expecting yeah. it. In rehearsal, she never did that. She said to her friend, she goes, watch this. I'm yeah. gonna spit yeah. on yeah. her. <laughs> that's, that's actually what she said in the beginning. I want a contest. I get to spit on a bunch of white people. <laughs> <laughs> and she will be booked. Every virtue signaling, sorry, Pierce, liberal party this Christmas, <laughs> she'll be at. Yeah. yeah. She breathed on me, and my eyes were just wide open, <laughs> and everything is just, I'm so alert now, and my new name is Ocelot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next, the state trying to embrace tourists from outer space. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.